Deep Cool have been around since 1996. They make PC cases, fancy pew coolers, and the like. And this is the Deep Cool Maelstrom 120 all in one liquid cooler that I used in my recent budget friendly Steam Machine based gaming PC build. <sighs> Ah, hello again, I am Bluntium, and now that I've given what is now being christened the Trio Hazard Rig a good amount of burn in time, I am ready to pass my mighty verdict on how some of the components I chose actually measure up in the real world. Long story short here, I'm really quite impressed with the Deepcool Maelstrom 120 liquid cooler. Designed around a 120mm radiator and a single fan, the Maelstrom is designed to offer an efficient, quiet cooling solution in a relatively compact package. Well, compact at least for a liquid cooler. So let's start at the beginning. Installation was very straightforward in fact. The instructions were clear and easy and fitting it onto the CPU was surprisingly quick and problem free. In fact one of the easiest cooler attachments I've ever done. As is the case with most units of this type, thermal paste is pre-applied to the copper cold plate contact surface and a little baggie of interchangeable brackets allow for fitting onto a variety of different CPU mounts. They're on your screen right now. In my case, of course, I was mounting to an LGA1151 for the Skylake i3 CPU I used in the build. The pump uses long-life zirconia ceramic bearings and has a rated life of 120,000 hours. The copper block has 0.2mm high-density microchannels. The radiator fan has quiet fluid dynamic bearings and a rubber coating on the frame to absorb any vibration noise. I really liked that. It works wonderfully well. And as a space-saving measure, the fan is quite thin too at only 20mm, making using it in HTPCs and Steam machines ideal. And even more interestingly, the fan impeller is actually detachable, making maintenance cleaning very easy indeed. The hoses are very flexible and very easy to work with and position, and finally there's a throbbing white LED logo detail on the pump cover, tied to its operation for a quick and easy glanceable way to make sure it's actually operating. So that's what it is, let's have a look at how well it works now. So, as for noise, this was the most pleasant surprise of all. At idle speeds and moderate loads, it's unexpectedly quiet, even without the case panels on, which of course suppress the noise further, and it was maintaining a nearly rock steady temperature of 27 degrees Celsius, even on a warm Sydney summer night with an ambient temperature of 23 degrees. So then I used Prime95 to max out the CPU and keep it maxed out for a full 15 minute test and the temperatures never, not once, managed to climb past 54 degrees Celsius, a very, very wide margin below the acceptable operating temperatures for a Skylake chip. And best of all, it managed this without getting obnoxiously loud. In fact, even maxed out, I'd still be tempted to slap the label quiet on it. I mean, it's certainly audible, but it is a long, long way from the turbine whining of some cooling options at their maximum speeds. In fact, the noise profile is a calm, restrained whir and a comfortable pitch. All in all, it's absolutely well within the arena of living room friendly noises, should you be looking to put it into a TV gaming PC rig like I have, or indeed a home theater PC. And as a desktop friendly unit, it's a choice I'd be happy to make. For a single fan, 120mm all-in-one cooler, it surpassed my expectations in every corner. It was cooler, quieter, and easier than I'd anticipated. It also doesn't hurt that the clean design and black and red color scheme make it an attractive option for those of you looking at a windowed case build. Though I have to be honest, if I had one change I could make, it'd be to make the LED in the pump housing RGB for a little bit of extra color matching flexibility. But having said that, at least a white LED won't actually clash with anything else now, will it? So, final verdict, as you may have predicted by now, I think it's damn good. Also, it's inexpensive. Have a quick Google for the price, because frankly, the price on these things tends to flutter about anyway, so any number I can tell you will probably change tomorrow. But it is really good value and a really good performer. So thank you to Anywhere.com.au for giving me the chance to check this thing out. I honestly may not have made this choice on my own, but I'm super glad they sent it to me because, like I said, I'm more impressed than I expected to be. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.